The only thing God has not given Nigeria is leadership. We must stop people from stealing public money. It's a must. We must stop people from wasting public money. Okay, my people, Tinubu is at it again. Coming from the political zone, there has been so many reactions regarding President Bola Tinubu budget proposal that has stormed the internet yesterday. People are raging out there claiming that the present Nigeria government is going to be worse compared to Buhari administration if they continue like this. Make sure you stay to the end of this video where I will be showing you what a public affair analyst said about Tinubu and his wife. He totally exposed their deceitful plan. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please, do, please don't forget to share this video. Share to every social media platform and don't forget to like our video so that YouTube will recommend it for us. We'll be back shortly. Okay, my wonderful people, we welcome you back to Top Nigeria. where we bring you the latest happening both Nigeria and the world at large. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do well to click the red subscription button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop our latest gist. Still on the budget proposal by President Bola Metunubu, this has actually called for so much concern in the country since yesterday. The two major allocations that keeps baffling people is the allocation of 5 billion naira for the purchase of presidential yards which has been scrapped and added to student loan and the most irating allocation out of it all, which is the allocation of 1.2 billion naira for the office of the first lady, which is now constitu constitutional for the purchase of exotic car. For a woman that came out boldly claiming that they have their home money to spend, that they are not interested in her home money. Make sure you stay connected to the end of this video, as I will be showing you where the meaning of presidential yacht was broken down for better understanding, which later shows that the lack of citizen interest of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has been exposed. My people, let's just say President Bola Ahmed Tinubu was trying to loot the 5 billion naira fund for the purchase of yachts. Reason being that the navies don't even make use of yachts. They make use of warship, which is also called marine ship. They use it in fighting and monitoring for the safety of the land from possible invasion via sea. Yacht is nothing compared to marine ship. It's just a way of stealing public funds. After watching this video, you will be very convinced that Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who is not the people's choice, is actually not worthy to be our president stay back and watch this video even peter obi in Benin said something yesterday he said we should try and kick out people that are interested in spending public funds president bola Ahmed tunubu is a major example of what he actually said and he said that nigeria has been blessed with everything but we, the only thing that we lack in this country is a good and a better leadership stay back my people and watch this video we'll be right back there's nothing wrong with nigeria Nigeria has the, one of the best in terms of land, one of the best in terms of weather, one of the best in terms of God giving resources, and one of the best people. The only thing God has not given Nigeria is leadership. We must stop people from stealing public money. It's a must. We must stop people from wasting public money. It is not their private money. And all of us are involved. We must not celebrate them. Please join in building a better Nigeria. We must defeat our children a better place. We cannot defeat them in Nigeria today. Otherwise, we're going to defeat them anarchy. And that's what we are um, pursuing this anymore. Um, we have increased the student loan. If you can recall, student loan was um, 5 billion naira in the budget. But now we have increased it from 5 to 10 billion so that our students can be able to access that facility in order for, um, for them to go to school and to be affordable for them. While the Senate and the House of Representatives will need to harmonize their position on the presidential yacht and student loan, they were pretty much on the same page on all other areas. A breakdown of the approved budget shows statutory transfer of 18 billion naira to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. A total of 1 trillion naira will serve as recurrent non-debt expenditure, out of which 346 billion is for the Ministry of Defense, 29.6 billion for police formation and command, others at the Office of the National Security Advisor with 39.6 billion naira, the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, is allocated 103 billion naira, while 515 billion is earmarked as service-wide votes. The other half of the capital and expenditure framework is a capital component that gives 
28 billion naira to the state house, 200 billion naira to the Ministry of Defense, Police Formation and Command, 20.3 billion naira, Office of the National Security Advisor, 10.3 billion naira, Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, 97 billion naira, Federal Ministry of Works, 300 billion naira, the Federal Capital Territory Administration, 100 billion naira, and what the National Assembly referred to as capital supplementation of 220.5 billion naira. <laughs> I say that because uh, people will now understand that uh, the same recklessness we had under the Buhari administration seems to be bringing its head up under the Tinubu administration. So now they say this is not the first time somebody tried to insert that issue of a yacht. There's nothing like presidential yacht. No. Everything that the president needs can be done transporting him with a helicopter and the military the security services does have helicopter for that use where would you use a yacht for i think somebody wants to dispose of an ill-gotten yacht uh, that has probably just stayed on their hands that they want you know how reckless our people can be disposing it somebody could buy it and then pay the money and it will rot in the place because it will never be used by the presidency be that as it may, we've moved on. And I will advise that we become very vigilant that the same hawk, the same kind of crooked people who were there in fixing numbers under Buhari are still available. That's what we must learn. Not see it as an embarrassing thing, no. We must see it as a teaching moment that the same crooks who were there stealing money for nothing under the Buhari administration the APC administration are still there. Under this APC, APC administration, there is no Tinibu's administration. So we must all stay away to understand that the snake is still there on the roof. Um, first of all, you know, according to the presidency, it was said that what is being named as the presidential yacht in the budget is an operational naval boat with specialized security gadgets suitable for high-profile operational inspection and not for the use of the president. It is called presidential yacht by way of nomenclature because of the high-level security features. The naval boat was ordered by the Navy under the previous administration. President Tunubu has consistently said that government is a continuum as he inherited both assets and liabilities of past administrations. So do you think that this is a fair enough argument for you know the yacht, presidential yacht? No, no, no. These are just rhetorics used to uh, blanket. There is nothing like a presidential yacht in security balances across the world. Any aircraft that is secure enough, that is big enough to be the command vessel of the Navy is a presidential uh, 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 craft. So this is just uh, some fraudulent stories they are trying to tell you. Somebody may have seen, uh, you know, a, a bulletproof uh, a, a private yacht and thinking they can pass it off to Nigeria because it's a bulletproof private yacht into the hands of, no, you don't need that. What would you use it for? That's just, so that means the Navy is admitting that it was involved in deception. You're trying to, deceptively give it a very fine fancy name so that to pass this is nonsense right. if the presidency don't know about it don't call it presidential product if nobody ever talked about it don't bring it up nobody needs such things we don't need a presidential yacht we don't need a yacht meant for only the president meant for only one person no we don't need that i mean what we need the, the... are multi-purpose craft that can carry personnel and go and secure a job done. No, That's what we need. Yeah, just to, to just to clarify, just to clarify once again, they they are arguing that it is not meant for the president. It's only just named presidential yacht. But you know, I, I just want to also add the fact that a yacht is a luxury um, uh, craft. It's not, uh, or rather, a luxury uh, boat. It's not you know a, a security boat. Um, the United States does not have you know a yacht in its navy. 
uh, the last one, I think, you know, was the USS uh, Sequoia or something like that. Um, but that one was decommissioned in 1977, and since then they have not found, found the need to use one or to have one. So Nigeria cannot be arguing that it needs a, a, a yacht in its navy. Um, these are just, for me, my, you know, just useless arguments. Um, it's pretty clear that this was very, very unnecessary. Um, what made them bold enough to even put it there in the first place is what we, we should be thinking about. But, Mr. Nonojo, I want to also ask, it's not just a yacht. That one, for me, is one item. There's still the office of the First Lady getting 1.5 billion naira for, for cars. There's still the National Assembly getting billions of naira for SUVs. There's 400 billion naira that's meant to be used for cash transfers. There's, um, I think, court premises is meant to be built about 10 or 40 billion naira for, for building uh, uh, courts. The vice president's residence is going to be getting about 3 or 4 billion naira. The president's house is going to be getting rehabilitation in billions of naira also. These are also items that were put in that budget that have been passed so far by a National Assembly that didn't go through that budget for up to a week. They didn't deliberate, they didn't debate anything for up to a week. So I want your thoughts on what we currently have that, is, that we call a National Assembly. Well, it's not what we currently have. The state capture was total. So uh, they, they have captured states and they think they can simply rule and they do not care about the current hardship being felt by the rank and file of Nigeria citizenry. And that's what you see. Uh, this is not proper. Uh, this could even be worse than the Buhari era from what we are seeing. That's why I said earlier that it is very teaching. It's not an issue of how to be embarrassed. We have been embarrassed enough by the APC as a political party. What they will not do, we do not know. We're beginning now to see that that recklessness we saw and we thought it was only uh, uh, particular to the Buhari gang. No, it's also here. A lot of these things are just not in, in the law. What is the office of the First Lady? The First Lady never ran for election. Why are we spending billions for buying cars for the First Lady? The same First Lady who told us that her family does not need Nigeria's money to survive, now she is taking Nigeria's money for purchasing her bulletproof vehicles for an office that is not known to law. That tells you the kind of administration that the Tinubu government shall be. So this is what it is. Don't forget how these people came to power. So why would you expect them to respect us? No. If they captured state, captured judiciary, they are also likely to have captured the legislature and nobody will talk. So it is left for the Nigerian people to open up their mouths and talk. Don't forget, this government is not as legitimate as we will want to think. No. This is the same government that, though we saw evidence to have it step down, the Supreme Court said, uh, please, for the sake of national unity, do this, do that, that we came late, that evidences came late. This is not proper. I do not approve of this. The same family that told us that they do not need Nigeria's money to sustain, now is the same family that is taking Nigeria's money to do for themselves what is not known to law. There is no office of the first lady that was voted for. Why should Nigerians be spending money to an office that is not allowed to be recognized to the, by, by law? This is a problem. We never voted for Remy Tinubu as first lady. Why is she spending our money? Why is her husband spending Nigeria's money for her upkeep? This is just unknown to law, and for me, it's where the problem is. And there are quite a lot of things. That particular budget you saw passed yesterday is nothing but a luxury budget. That's why you saw pecs, money to be chopped, cash transfers that we do not know who is going to, all sorts of things. None of these things are pertinent to national building and to governance. He can do Actually, without a lot of these things that he got money requested for yesterday, and that just tells you the Tinibu administration does not promise to be an administration that Nigerians could look forward to. So we have a continuation of the uh, uh, issues that we saw uh, with the last administration, 
where money was packed recklessly, where our oils were sold in forward contracts and money taken, and we didn't see any of the money put into anything. Right. We're singing infrastructure, infrastructure. Today, our roads and infrastructure are very bad all over the place. When you see the current Minister for Works go around, you start to ask yourself, so what then did Fashola do for eight years as Minister? Okay, my people, you will agree with me from this video that the presidential yacht is such a big scam. Navies don't make use of yacht for the security of the country. Where rather, they make use of marine ship. Let us be realistic here. How can billions of Naira be allocated to the office of First Lady that is not even constitutional? It's not in the Constitution that the First Lady should be uh, should, should have access to the to the public funds. Imagine a country where a senator in power is clamoring for the provision of SUV car because of bad rule. It shows high level of misplaced priority by President Bola Metunubu. He wants to purchase a yacht that at the end of the tenure will be found missing. What's all this? Peter Obi said in that video that Nigeria is very okay, but just that it lacks good leaders. Please drop your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to like and share this video. And most importantly, subscribe and click the bell icon so that YouTube will kindly notify you when next we upload another trendy gist. See you in our next video.